setting up or upgrading the VIP server. So here's a list of the tasks we're going to be going through. So you can use this later to go back and make sure everything's worked okay. Otherwise, just follow along with the video. Okay, so what I've done, I've copied in the setups for VIP and for the server. Now, you may well have the latest or sometimes we'll have version numbers. Uh, in this case, we're just going to run with version numbers. So I'm just going to run this. So we start with installing VIP, pretty standard stuff. If you have an old one, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you need to apply a license, then request a license or look for your administrator's license and apply it. And there's VIP, it started fine. Now let's go and run the server install. Let's just run this. Pick all the defaults. and we are done. Now let's go off and see what we've done. So we've got a bunch of folders like so in here and the first thing we're going to do is to go into VIP Excel configuration into configuration and what we're looking for in here is VIP automation message config.xlsx. Now in here you're going to basically fill in three values that's pretty much all you need to do. So we're going to firstly nip off into modeler, connect into modeler pick the workspace. Now the server is, is actually linked to the workspace. If we click on profile you'll see here that we have uh, the URL so let's copy that first of all and we're just going to put that into the URL. Let's place that one down. Back to here we're going to copy the key. Again we're going to copy that into here and we're going to have a machine name machine key and I'm just going to call this test pest bed. Try and make this a meaningful name not just a, a kind of raw windows name and then we save that. Now start up the server controller. Now what you need to do is to go to load config and pick up config auto server config to start with. Now this is going to have uh, th three brackets and we just need to change this to the name of the machine key that we care about uh, and what I'm going to do is just done a load and I'm just going to do a save put it back to the same one and we're done and now what we need to do is click on start now this is going to load up some flows into memory which is going to take a little while now while we're doing that we're actually going to open up two more so we're going to open up VIP server controller again We're going to pick up Hopper. Again, we just need to change this to my machine name or machine key. And I'm just going to save that. This one's going back to Hopper. And it's going to do start. Just move that to one side. And then I'm going to do a third one, which is my REST server. Now all of these can be run as start of tasks but for the moment we're just making sure everything's working. So we're just going to pick up the third one, we're pick up rest. Call this test bed, save it again. Now the next time you do an install those will be set. Again I'm just going to do a start and we'll just leave these around for a moment like that and let's wait for these to load. So before we start the servers running what we need to do is we need to go back into modeler and we need to go to profile and we need to go to automation servers and then we need to actually add the server so modeler knows about it. Now we're going to click on add server. There's a couple of things, the 
the core thing is actually the name because that's the thing we match on. So we call that test bed, call it test bed. We need to browse to our server file. So let's just go to VIP Excel configuration test automation. And this is basically our starter set of jobs. So we're going to pick this one here. And then we're going to click save. The name has got a match, so testbed matches. And now we have a testbed which is set to red. OK, so now we can start up the servers. I'm going to turn on logging just so we can see what's going on. You, you switch to the next tab, which is run flow. You click start. And let's just have a look. Just get a few messages. We'll turn off logging in a bit, but just want to watch it at the beginning. This is looking for jobs. We're going to do the same thing with Hopper. Start. Now we'll leave these open for a moment because we're actually going to run a job and I just want to make sure that we get the messages coming through correctly. So now if we go back to Modeler, you'll see Testpad has turned green, which means we're talking to it. Now we're going to go into VIP Executor and we're actually going to submit a job. And what you'll see, if you go to Data Masking, what we're looking for is our server, which is Testbed. And we're going to use Mask CSV using seed data file Hopper. Uh, we're just going to click on that. And what we're going to do is just going to choose a file. This pretty much tests everything, all of, all of the capabilities, by just running this job successfully. VIP TDM, Data Mask CSV, Production Extracted Data. And what we're going to do is mask that CSV. We're going to click Open. We're going to click Execute. Then if we go to VIP Executor and go into View Jobs, we've got something in progress. We can just click Refresh here. And then what we're going to also do is have a look at Hopper as well, because we're passing it off to the Test Data Engine. Again, we're just going to click Refresh. We can see the job is in progress. If you want to, you can go and see, see any messages and log messages that are running through. That's complete. Let's mask some data. Uh, here you'll see that the master job has finished as well, so let's go into here. And um, what you can see now is that we've actually uploaded the results file. If we open that, your original file and the mast file. So that now means that everything is communicating. We're just going to nip back to what well, the jobs will disappear down into the system tray. We're just going to open these up. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just turn off logging and minimize them again and the same thing and I can leave rest because it's very few messages and now we're pretty we're up and running the servers all are working fine if you're doing an upgrade the only core difference is we will not overwrite anything any of these jobs here we will just provide you with a new version now occasionally we will add in extra variables or parameters uh, in there. So just have a quick look in the news just to see if there's any new stuff that's come in. And apart from that, that's you set up and ready to go.